Hello YouTube, my name is Phantom, and welcome to Madden Madness. This is the tournament that gives every team new life. If you haven't watched, here's the bracket thus far. Today we have the Eagles and the Cowboys going at it. And we're at a neutral field. We're at the Patriots Stadium, Gillette Stadium. So who do you think is going to win? Let us know below, like the video, and subscribe for more. So without further ado, here we go. Switzer's back to catch the punt, or the kick. Kicks away. Switzer's going to run it out. Taken down just before the 24. Drop down at the, at the 24. So out comes Dak Prescott. And they had a disappointing season. 9-7. Missing the playoffs one season after going 13 and 3. They do have a pretty big excuse because they were missing their the key to their offense, Mr. Zeke Elliott. But he's back for this game as the Cowboys come out with the quarterback under pressure. And Elliott's going to run out. And he's tackled down, gets maybe a yard. And here's the Cowboys' offensive line. Elliott leading the backfield. Bryant leading receiver. And many are wondering if Dez is going to make it back next year. He wants money, but the Cowboys don't really want to give it to him, so... Let's keep an eye on that. As Dak comes out, under center, once again, eye formation. Fakes the handoff up the middle. Throws, and he's got the first down. First first down of the, of the game. And it's Jason Witten. That's good for 16. And brings up a new set of downs. Right on the sideline. Excellent catch. Coming out in the eye once again. Prescott is going to throw. Hits his man on the right. It's Elliott who gets about two yards on the catch and run. Second and eight coming up. And here's the Eagles defensive line who really didn't show up in the Super Bowl until it really mattered most. Let's see if they can step up a little bit earlier here. And Prescott's going to come out in the eye once again. They've been using that formation a lot today, but they've been throwing it more than they've been running it. And he had the open man, but he misses it. Misses it left. So we're going to have our first third down attempt of the game. We'll see if they can convert. Eagles appear to be only rushing four, and they are. Prescott's going to throw, and he hits Hannah for just a sec, but Hannah drops it. Fourth and eight coming up, and the Cowboys will punt. So, pretty good defensive series by the Eagles. 
forcing the punt after only giving up one first down. Jones boots away and it just barely hits on the other side of the goal line and it's going to go back for a touchback. Ball comes out to the 20 and there's number nine Nick Foles and nobody thought he could do it but he became he made it to the Super Bowl A and B he won the Super Bowl MVP but with Mad Madness you start from scratch so we'll see if he can keep the momentum going Foles hands it off to Jay Ajayi loses one loss of one on the first play second 11 coming up and it's worth mentioning that Foles, the only reason Foles is in there and not Carson Wentz is because Carson Wentz is still on IR according to Madden. And when a player is on IR, you can't use them unless you're in a different mode. Uh, but those modes aren't, you can't do simulations in those other modes. So it's going to be Nick Foles for Madden Madness. But... His rating is at an 80 or, or better, depending on which one's higher. And here's the Eagles offense. JHI leading the backfield. Jeffrey, Smith, and I'm surprised Nelson Aguilar isn't on that list. You know, they just have so much so many good players that you can't there's not enough room on the screen to fill it first attempt on third down for Foles and it's a completion but he's just short of the first down so fourth and one here Philadelphia is on their side of the field and I expect them to punt So neither team can get a third down conversion on their first drives. Jones, going to punt it. Switzer's going to run it up for a decent gain out to the 33. And out come the Cowboys. So that's interesting. Both punters are named Jones. And they're going to break huddle. Under 20 seconds on the play clock. Bunch set to the right. Prescott's under center again. Prescott throws immediately to Witten, and he goes nowhere. He stops. He stopped on the line. Second and ten coming up. Really interesting. They haven't had Prescott in the shotgun. So we'll see if they can convert on second and ten. Four receivers, and right when I say it, they go to the shotgun. Prescott's in the shotgun. He's going to throw to his other side. He hits Des Bryant. That's Bryant's first catch of the game. And it's a decent gain out to the 40-yard line, third and four, upcoming. And as I said before, they didn't get their last third down, so they're 0 for 1. And this will be a, an attempt to make it 1 for 2. Three bunches, three bunch wide receivers to the right. Prescott's going to scramble. 
And he's got the first and a little bit more. Gain of 10 on the scramble play. And Cowboys have their first third down conversion of the game. And Prescott just knew it was man, and when it's man, then that leaves the quarterback wide open to run. He had Witten open too, though Witten didn't have as good of a chance to get that first down. And they're going to come out at the 50-yard line. Prescott under center. Elliott in the backfield. Prescott's going to throw again. And hits the receiver, but he drops it. And Ronald Darby's already got two pass deflections in this one. And I don't think the Cowboys have run a run play in maybe four plays. Have they, they might have one ran one run play on this drive. We'll see if they do a run here. Fakes the pass to Elliott. I like that play call. Fakes the throw as they've been doing for most of the drive. But he hands it off to Elliott instead who gets a decent gain. Another third and four coming up. So back to back third and fours. They're 50% on the day so far. Prescott under center, fakes the handoff to Elliott. Throws over the middle, he's got Beasley for a big gain. And with that, we're at the end of the first quarter already. 0-0, zero, zero. Cowboys are driving. Welcome back to the start of the second. Cowboys are on the Eagles 24, so they're well within field goal range. But they don't just want a field goal, they want a touchdown. Prescott comes out under center gonna hand it to Elliott up the gut and Elliott he's got a touchdown touchdown Cowboys just a simple halfback dive and just good blocking up front and he is untouched until he almost gets to the goal line and that's what the Cowboys have done really well when they've been victorious is Run the ball. Run the ball, chew up the clock, and keep their defense off the field. Seven plays, 67 yards, just over three minutes. And he's got a touchdown on only two rushes. And now we'll see if the Eagles can respond already down seven zip. Kicks away. Caught by Algalor in the end zone, takes the knee for the free 25. And out comes the Philadelphia offense. They've had the ball once before, but that was a unsuccessful drive. We'll see if they can get a successful one here. And they got a lot of time to do it. Oh 
Bowles gets him with the hard count. So it's going to be free five yards. And that's a really alert call by Foles. He knows that the defense coming up for the first play of the drive, they're energized, to say the least. And especially they're trying to up maintain the momentum started by the offense. So the Eagles use that to their advantage. But they're going to come out in the same formation. And we'll see what this play is going to be. Fakes the handoff right. Foles throws it. Incomplete. He let his receiver just a bit too much, and the ball was a little bit too low. But that's fine since he got the free five on the last play. Second and five coming up. Foles has three receivers and he's lining up under center. Selleck in motion. Jay Ajayi. He gets hit in the backfield. Loss of three on the play. And that's Sean Lee. That was his second tackle for a loss. And now we got another third and long coming up. Third and eight. See if the Eagles can convert on this third and long. Four receivers. Foles in the shotgun. And he fakes the handoff. He's got time in the pocket. And was that a catch? Yes, it was. Gain of 13 for Ertz. And he's one of the premier tight ends in the league. And it's because he can do things like that. Catches the ball just on the edge of the sideline where only he can get it. Gets his two feet down. Completes the pass and gets the first. So the Eagles are now 50% on third down. Bunch set to the left. Foles under center. Hands it to Jai up the gut. And he's got yards. Gain of six. It's going to be a second and three, they'll call it. And we'll see what they like what they're gonna do. A lot of teams like to take a shot when they get third and medium. Or second and medium. See what they do here. A Jai up the gut once again. He gets the first. And not much more as he's stood up and knocked down at the 50 yard line. Just a simple halfback base, and once again, the blocking up front wins out. What a hit by Hitchens. Bowles with a Jai behind him. He's going to fake the handoff, and he's got all day in the pocket. He... Tries to hit it downfield, but overthrows the ball. Second down coming up. And the Cowboys are going to get ready to try and defend. Looks like they're sending some extra pressure. And Blunt, his first carry of the game, he's got it. A first down and more. Blunt with a 13 yard gainer. And he's the only player to have won Super Bowl last year and this year, so. It's not 
very common when a player goes from Super Bowl winning team to a different Super Bowl winning team and, uh, and wins the Super Bowl, obviously. It's happened a couple times, usually only one player per year for the past couple. Bunch set to the right, and looks like we're going to have a false start. Foles Cadence got his own guys this time. So, Eagles will start now, first and 15. And that knocks them out of field goal range. So, from the edge of field goal range, Eagles will come out in a running formation. And he almost gets them to get off sides again. Hits Selick for about three. Second and 12 coming up. And Peterson's a little bit frustrated. Four receivers. Three receivers, I mean. Hands it to Ajay up the gut. And he's got a good little gainer. Gain of nine. And it was a first and 15, and now it's a third and three. So, the Cowboys running game was taken off, and now the Eagles running game is responding. Third and three coming up. Eagles are one for two on the day, trying to make it two for three. And Foles is alone in the shotgun. Five wide. Foles. And he's got his man Aguilar. Gain of 23 on the play. And now the Eagles are on the doorstep. And probably the biggest improvement on the offensive side of the ball was their revamped receiving core. They got Aguilar a couple years ago, but he's been pretty quiet. He took a step forward this year, and so did, um, I'll tell you after the break. 7-zip. All right, we're back, and as I was saying, um, The Eagles were revamping their wide receiver core, and that's their biggest step forward in 2017. They picked up Alshon Jeffrey from the Bears, and they got Nelson Aguilar to step it up. And it's showing here. And Foles Cadence gets another false start. False start, offense. So two false starts on this drive. And now it's first and goal from the 11, which is not very easy. And if I'm Dallas, I'm using my timeouts here to try and preserve the clock because now, no matter what, you're going to get the ball back. Oh, another pre-snap penalty, jeez. So two false starts and two neutral zones. So that'll move him back up to the six-yard line. But if I'm Dallas, I'm still taking those timeouts after every play here so you can preserve the clock. And Philadelphia won't, won't be able to run off any clock at all, no matter what they do. So whatever happens here, Dallas is going to have a chance to answer. But we will see what happens here first. Four receivers for Foles. Foles. 
rolls to his left, throws across his body, and just over the head of everyone, out of bounds. So Dallas is going to preserve their timeouts because of that incompletion. And Foles is a little bit frustrated. He panicked a little bit in the pocket. He had time. And Jai alone in the backfield, falls under center, steps back, it's ready to throw, and he throws it away. Panicked in the pocket again. So Dallas preserves another timeout. And now, with third and six to get to the goal, Philadelphia is going to have to throw. So Dallas is going to be able to preserve all their timeouts, unless the Eagles decide to run it here for some reason. Not a high percentage play though. Foles steps back, surveys, he's got time in the pocket. He's not panicking, he's stepping up in the field. Rolls to his left, and he's being pursued, pursued now, and he's down, sacked. So that's gonna make the Eagles take a field goal. Dallas is gonna get the ball with plenty of time, and they're gonna take a t timeout. All right, we're back as we get ready for this field goal. Philadelphia is going to try and make it three to seven. And here's the rookie, Jake Elliott. Elliott's kick is good. So it's 3-7. to seven. Both teams are now on the board. Right down the uprights. So... Under just under two minutes to play, and Dallas gets the ball with two timeouts. So they can run their entire offense. They don't need to try and play the sideline game. Switzer takes the knee, and the ball's going to come out to the 25. And it's worth noting that Philadelphia could get the ball back with a lot of time left if this first play doesn't go very well for the Cowboys. For instance, if he's taking a big if he takes a big sack, but the Cowboys are just going to see if they can answer this field goal. All right, they're going to break huddle. Three receivers. And Prescott's got a hard count. So that's a free five. A lot of pre-snap penalties in this one. So now the Cowboys can basically take a free play as long as they don't throw a pick or take a sack. All right, bunch set to the left. Single receiver to the right. Prescott in the shotgun. Prescott steps back and it's a screen to Elliott. And Elliott gets the first down, gets about eight on the catch and run. First and ten, clock is running. That was a bit of a conservative call with a minute and a half left in the game. And two timeouts. But I get it, you're trying to anticipate the blitz. And the screen is a counter to a blitz. So, 
Decent gain though. Let's see if they they will throw here. Dak alone in the shotgun. Prescott rolls to his right and he's taken down for a sack. He's sacked, but it looks like it's a face mask call. That's a free 15. And the sloppy play continues on both sides. So now Dallas only has to get a few yards to get in the first down, or to get in the field goal range, and they have a minute. Maybe they need two first downs. Plenty of time. Penalty does stop the clock. Prescott throws over to his left. He's got Witten, and Witten gets it up from 144 to the other as he's taken down. Cowboys stop the clock with exactly one minute to play in the second. They're up. All right. Peterson's got to be a little bit frustrated right now after his guys gave up a penalty on a crucial sack. And now the Cowboys just need a few yards and they'll be in field goal range. But they have a minute, so they got to be looking at the, getting that touchdown. Dallas only has one timeout, though, so if they complete something in bounds, then the clock's going to run. Prescott's alone in the backfield, and he's going to take the snap. He's rolling around, throws on the run, and it's out of bounds. Tried to get his man, but he just let him a little bit too much. But that does stop the clock and give the Cowboys time to think of their next play. And it's going to be a second and ten. Prescott's alone in the backfield once again, five wide. Prescott throws, immediately hits Beasley on the run. Beasley up, spins a defender. And he's going to be taken down with the first down, just gets enough. So Beasley's had some catches in this one. Some highlight plays. And it was a good throw by Prescott, too, leading him in stride. So, clock's running. Cowboys will elect to huddle up. And they're going to break huddle with just about 30 seconds to play. Prescott and Elliott in the backfield. Prescott's going to throw again, rolls to his right. He throws on the run, and it's incomplete. He let his man too much. So, second and 10 coming up. And now they're at the 34 with only 20 seconds left and one timeout. They can take a decent shot and try and get maybe to the 10 or 15 yard line and get maybe get the ball spiked for an easy field goal attempt. Or if they're feeling um, conservative, they can take the timeout. Prescott throws on the run again across his body to Elliott, who jukes the defender. And he's going to be taken down at the 26. Here comes a third down, and they're just going to kick the field goal here, I think. Try and make it 10 to 3. Alright, third and two, and the Cowboys should kick this field goal. In theory, they do have a chance to take a shot at the end zone, but honestly, the risk reward is a little bit out of whack, especially when you're up 7 3. We'll see what they do here. And they're going to kick the field goal. It's going to be a kick from the 33-yard line. And it's blocked. Kick is blocked. 
And the clock's going to run because that was a third down. Doesn't cause a turnover on downs. And that's going to be the end of the first half. Cowboys up 7-3. to three. But Eagles just had a massive play. And we're going to skip halftime and get right back to the action. Jason Garrett. And Philadelphia is going to get the ball to start the second half. So that block might come back to haunt the Cowboys. Philadelphia can get the lead if they can punch this in the end zone. Aguilar takes the knee in the end zone. Gets the free 25. And so that's where the Eagles will start their drive. Dallas has outgained Philly in this one so far. Foles is going to audible. He's going to hand it off to Ajay up the gut. And Ajay gets six. It's going to be a second and four. And it was just a simple halfback base. But the blocking up front makes or breaks runs in this league. So good blocking good gain and Foles is going to line up on center Ajay behind him Ajay up the gut he's got a first and a little bit more gain of about 10 on the carry and that brings up a new set of downs Huddle breaks. Foles comes out. Hands it to Ajay again. Trying to keep their running game going. It's not as good this time. It's only a game of two. So it's going to be a second and eight. Huddle breaks with under 10 on the play clock. And Foles is going to be alone in the backfield. Cowboys are rushing four. Foles goes across his body on the run and can't hit his man. He leads him too much on the throw. So we're going to have a third and eight coming up. Eagles are one for three on third down. This will be their fourth attempt. Alone in the Foles. Throws across his body again. And I don't understand. Those throws are not high percentage throws in this league. So, Eagles will punt. And their percentage on third down is only 25. Jones with the punt. Good kick and good bounce. Ball be marked down at the four yard line. And Dallas in a hole to start their drive. Excellent punt by Jones. Picked up by Jones. <laughs> so many Jones. Joneses. What's that movie? I don't know. Waking up with the Joneses or something? I don't know. So 
So Dallas will probably go to their main playmaker, Elliott, and try and get out of the shadow of their own goal line. Confusion for the Eagles, and it shows. This will be out to the 14 or so, depending on what this flag's about. Ooh, that's a killer. It's on Jason Witten. And that's going to set him even closer to the goal line. So Philly doesn't score on offense, but they have a chance to score on defense. And if they do get a safety here, they'll be up, be down 5-7, to seven, but it'll be just a field goal game. Prescott's coming under center. Hands it to Elliott. And what does he get? They're going to get back to where they were originally, out to the four-yard line. Cowboys break huddle. They're coming out in the eye. Strong right. Prescott's going to throw here. Running around in his end zone trying to get out. He does. And the ball's out. Recovered by the Eagles. So Prescott has a turnover in this one. He avoids the safety, but now he gives up the ball deep in their own territory. Let's see if the Eagles can capitalize. So, Eagles will start their drive on the Cowboys' 11. Bowles hands it to Ajay, who gets a couple, gets four. Taken down at the seven. Second and six coming up. And in this situation, you should be playing for the first down. You should be playing for the touchdown. Because there's like a narrow half yard that you can hit. Now, it's, it'll be closer to a full yard. But the odds of you hitting that, just go for the just go for the touchdown. Bowls to Ajay, and Ajay's got a TD. Jay Ajay. So the Cowboys cough it up, and the Eagles make them pay. And Philly's got their first lead of the game with 2.51 in the third. Out comes Elliott for the extra point. And Philly up by a field goal in this one. Just got that in two plays. Deck only had a few seconds to get over his fumble as he has to come out now and answer, finding himself down by three. And the Eagles are going to kick it away. And Smith catches it, takes the knee, and the free 25. And this is a playoff game, folks. Remember, if Dallas loses this game, or if Philly finds some way to choke, 
They're out. And it's only the first round of the playoffs. Cowboys gonna break huddle and come out in the eye. Takes the handoff. Prescott throws. And it's incomplete. Which is better than the sack that he could have would have gotten if he held on to the ball for just a second longer. Second and ten coming up. Looks to be man coverage by the Eagles. Prescott's alone in the backfield. Prescott hits Witten for a gain of about seven. Not enough for the first. Oh, and they're going to say it was a gain of nine. Third and one coming up. Cowboys are one for three on third down. Trying to make it two for four. Prescott under center, running formation. He's going to hand it to his big man, Elliott, and Elliott's not going to get there. Stop short. He lost a couple inches on the play, actually. Fourth and one, and we'll see what the Cowboys do here. You're on your own side of the field. Just punt the ball. You're only down three. And the Eagles have struggled to move the ball on you. And that's what they'll do. They'll punt. In the backfield is Chris Jones. Jones punts. And ball's going to bounce at the nine and into the end zone for a touchback. So I just can't get the bounce. Out come the Eagles. Jai's had a game so far in this one. And the Eagles just need him to continue. All right, running formation for the Eagles. Holes in the shotgun. Hands it to a Jai on a hat. Ooh. What a hit. Number 57 just rocketed in there out of nowhere. Knocks him down after a gain of two. Second and eight. And Foles under center. Ajay behind him, Selick in motion. Pitch to Ajay. Ajay's got some space, spins it around the defender, and gain a four. So it's going to be a third and four in this one. And the Eagles are one for four on third down. This will be their fifth attempt, trying to make it two for five. And they won't get the playoff. We're going to get to the fourth before the next play. Eagles lead this one, 10 to seven. All right, we're back. Eagles are up 10 to seven, and they have the ball, so they're in the driver's seat for the moment. But in order to stay in the driver's seat, they need this third down. Third and four. And you've been running the ball well. Your throwing's been Hit or miss. We'll see what they do. Four receivers. Foles hands to Clement. His first carry of the game. And he's got enough for the first. Oh, they're going to say fourth and inches. Not enough. 
Just a halfback base and... I don't know. That's a cl that's a close call. I don't know. Nevertheless, Eagles are going to punt now. So they're now one for five on third down. And Cowboys have a chance to regain the lead. Kicks away. Switzer catches it, and he's pummeled immediately. Gets maybe one or two. And Prescott's going to come out now. Trying to regain the lead, make up for his fumble. Let's see if he can overcome some adversity. And Cowboys are going to break huddle. Four receivers, Prescott in the backfield. Prescott to Elliott. Elliott runs up, and he's got nine yards. It's going to be a second and about one. And Elliott's pretty much untouched. Good blocking up front. Second and just a little tiny bit more than a yard as the Cowboys come out in the eye. Pitches it to Elliott, and Elliott loses one. Knocked down for a loss on the play. Third and two coming up. And the Cowboys are also one for five on third, or one for four on third down. This will be their fifth attempt. Trying to make it two for five. And third with the ball being placed at third and two. Prescott's going to come out in a running formation. And he's going to give it to Elliott, who's got enough for the first. It's a conversion, and that's enough to move the chains. And it really didn't look like he was going to get there until he executed that spin move. Looked like he was going to run into Frederick. Big, big third down conversion. On to the next play. Just over four minutes to play in the fourth. Cowboys come out. Four receivers for Prescott. He throws under pressure, he hits Morris. And Morris has a gain of about nine. But there's a flag, we'll see who this is against. And it's against the offense. So it'll be first and 20. So, could have gained nine, ends up losing 10. That's a 19 point swing or 19 yard swing. So Cowboys will start first and 20. Prescott in the shotgun. Prescott throws, hits Morris over the middle again, trucks the defender. What a hit! And Prescott's just now hitting the 100 yards with under four to play. Just a simple inside crossing route. And that was a gain of eight. So if they can get eight yards on every on every play, they can get a first down here. 
We'll see if they choose to throw, and they will. Prescott hits Hannah over the middle, and Hannah's going to make it a third and manageable. Gain of about nine on the play. Third and three coming up. This will be the Cowboys' sixth attempt. They're two for five so far. And they're going to break huddle. Under 10 seconds to snap the ball. Prescott in the shotgun. Prescott throws over the middle. He's got his man, but it's incomplete. So we got a fourth and three at the 40. Uh, decision time for the Cowboys. They're going to go for this. This could be the play of the game. Prescott gets ready to throw. He hits his man. He hits Beasley. So Beasley's been the playmaker in this one for keeping the game going, keeping the Cowboys in it. He's only got three for 38, but they've come in critical moments. Cowboys aren't out of the woods yet. They're just about at midfield, and they need a field goal to tie. We're at the two-minute warning. And Cowboys have the ball, trying to tie or get the lead. Two minutes left in the game, 10-7. All right, 10-7. Game on the line. What are the Cowboys going to do? Is it going to be Prescott? Is it going to be Elliott? Is it going to be Fletcher Cox? Who's going to make this play? Bounced formation. Prescott. Throws. Hits Elliott over the middle. And now they're on the edge of field goal range, and they're going to hurry to the line. Prescott. Scrambles. He's, he's looking for daylight. And he's taken down after a small gain. There's a flag on the field. And I think the Eagles are going to give up a big penalty here. Critical timing, Patrick Robinson. So now the Cowboys have all day. They're in field goal range. And ideally for the Cowboys, if they can just punch the ball, run the clock all the way down and punch it in the end zone, they can win this game. But if all things fail, they'll have three po points in their pocket. Three receivers. Prescott is going to throw. And he hits Bryant. Bryant's second catch of the game, and it's a big one. His only, only his second catch of the game, but it brings him within first and goal. And he gets out of bounds, stops the clock. So far in the big moment, it's Prescott that answers the call. All right, these next three plays could decide the game. Prescott alone in the backfield. And the center was supposed to snap the ball. He didn't, and it's going to be a loss of five. And that's a critical mistake. You can't. You have to know the snap count. So now you can maybe run it on first down, and depending on how the run goes, you'll probably be throwing the next two times. 
Both teams have full timeouts too, which is rare at this point in the game. Morris, Alfred Morris. Gets it up to the five. They're gonna rush back to the line so they can run it here if they want. Four receivers for Prescott. He's gonna throw. Prescott hits his man, but the hit jarred it loose. So they're trying to get Morris going, but drops the ball on that one. And that stops the clock. So if I'm the Eagles, regardless of how this next play goes, I'm taking a timeout because there's plenty of time for the Cowboys to think about this as the clock runs down. And Philly, if they give up the touchdown, they have under a minute with three timeouts. They need to score. The Cowboys need it more. Another pre-snap penalty. Cowboys struggling to keep it, keep their brains moving, especially up front. So it's going to be back to the 10-yard line, third and goal. And this next throw is going to decide if we get overtime or if we don't. Punch right. Prescott hands it to Smith. And Smith gets no goes nowhere. So now it's fourth down and the clock's moving. And Philly appears to be letting it move. They're gonna let it run down and they're just gonna try and play for overtime. And the Cowboys will settle for a field goal to try and make it 10-10 and extend this game. If they are able to, this will be the first overtime of Madden Madness. And they're going to kick it. Dan Bailey. To extend this game. And the kick's good. We're tied. 10-10. And the Cowboys are going to play for overtime. And you got to remember, Dallas had that blocked field goal earlier in the game, so that could have been for the win. Instead, we're going to have overtime in most occasions. Philly does have three timeouts with 30 seconds, and they just need a field goal. We'll see how risky Doug Peterson's going to play it. And honestly, he's a very aggressive play caller, so I would be very surprised if he tries to go, tries to go for this. Foles is going to come out. So in the Super Bowl, Foles was able to answer. We'll see what he can do here in the first round of Mad Madness. Three receivers. As Foles comes out in the shotgun, he's just going to hand it to Ajay. Halfback base. And Eagles are going to take a timeout, so they're playing this. They're not done. After the eight yard gain, Philly's going to take the timeout. And out comes Foles. And false start. We're going to have a false start call. False start offense. And if I'm Doug Peterson, after a mistake like that, I'm just going to play for overtime. Maybe call a screen, try and catch some blitzing. But other than that, 
I'm not trying to throw it down the field. Peterson's more aggressive than me, though, so we'll see. See if they have any tricks in their pocket. And once again, whoever loses this game's done. They're going home. Three receivers as Foles comes out. Audibles. Hands it to Ajayi. Up the gut. Gain of three, and Philly's going to take another timeout. And I don't understand what's going on here. They're running it, calling conservative runs, but they're taking timeouts, trying to conserve the clock. Are they just hoping that they're going to pop one? So, sixth attempt of the game for the Eagles to convert on third down. They've only done so once. Jeffries out in the slot. Foles. Slips the tackle. He's going to throw it deep downfield. Incomplete. And they're showing Jake Elliott's range in case a Hail Mary attempt goes through. And with 11 seconds left on the clock, he can't do a Hail Mary as, time, as the clock runs out. So I expect Philly to punt here. And they will. Kicks away from Jones. Big kick out to the 11 where Switzer catches it. And clock stops with three seconds. So Cowboys will have an attempt at a Hail Mary if they want it. Though if I'm Jason Garrett, I am definitely just taking the knee. They're going to come out and run the ball, it appears at least. Running it to the left with Elliott. And Elliott couldn't get free. So now we're at overtime. The first overtime Mad Madness game. Score is 10 to 10. All right, here we are, 10 to 10. First touchdown wins the game. And if there's no field goal on the first drive, well, let me let me back up. So a touchdown for either team wins it. A safety wins it no matter what. But if there's on the first drive, the opposing team will get a chance to also match. So, kicks away from Elliott. Cowboys will receive to start over time. Switzer runs it out. And would have got more if he took the knee, but Lux to run it out. And only gets it to the 23. So, Prescott has a chance to win this thing first. If he gets a field goal, Philly's going to get the ball. If he gets a touchdown, the game is over. And Dallas is outgained Philly by about 80 yards. Prescott fakes the handoff. They're going to start out throwing. 
Throws on the run, and he's got Bryant immediately. Des Bryant. 33 yards. And just like that, the Cowboys are on the edge of field goal range. What a clutch play. And they just need about eight yards to get this field goal attempt. And Elliott, Elliott's in field goal range. He brings the Cowboys into field goal range. Make a very makeable field goal range as well. And the Cowboys have a good chance to get the lead or win this game. And if I'm Philly, I, I'm just trying not to give up the touchdown. Let them get their three. Foles will answer. Prescott double fakes. And Prescott's going to run the edge, and now he's scrambling up the field. Gain of 14. Cowboys are driving. They're trying to end this game. And Philadelphia, who's been able to hold the Cowboys in check for the most part, are really just struggling. Really just letting the doors get blown off them. And surprisingly, the Cowboys have called a lot more passes than runs. Prescott to Elliott. Elliott. Gain seven. Second and three. And if Philadelphia can stop them here, they'll still have a chance to match their score or win the game. So Philly's not completely out of it yet, but they need to wisen up and get some rocks in their pockets. If I'm Philly's defense, I'm just trying to get them to third down because the Cowboys are only... Two of seven on third down. So if they can get them that far, they have a good chance of getting the ball back. Hands it to Elliott, who doesn't get there. They're going to say it's a third and inches. The Cowboys are going to try and go for this. This is their eighth attempt of the game, and they're only two for three, although they haven't had a third and inches in this game. I'm the Cowboys. I'm just handing it to Elliott and crossing my fingers. Philly's going to send pressure. Prescott throws. He's got Morris, who has the first down, and he takes it all the way up to the one. First and goal. And now Philly really just needs a miracle. They need a Patriots-style interception. Once again, if I'm the Cowboys, I'm just running. Running it three times. Prescott's going to throw. First down. He hits Williams on the slant. Touchdown. The game is over. And the Eagles are upset. They lose 16-10. to Wow. So the Patriots got eliminated in the last game, or two games ago, and the Eagles are eliminated, and the Cowboys are the ones that are going to move on. So Philly falls short to the Cowboys in the first round. So both Super Bowl participants are out. And we're going to show you 
the bracket right now. In the upper right hand corner you'll see Cowboys move on, Eagles go home, and they'll play the winner of the Redskins and the Giants, which is the next game up on the schedule. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did, and if you liked the video and you want to see what happens next, hit that subscribe. Hit, hit that like button as well, and can't wait to read you guys' comments. Adios.